everyone, so today's video is a really nice chill get ready with me video on this really fresh look that I decided to do for a day trip to Wellington a couple of weeks ago actually. It's a little bit of an older footage collection. Next up, I'm using the Pro Conceal by LA Girl, which is one of my favorite concealers of all time. And I'm applying that under my eyes, just a little bit of that, even though it looks like a lot, it does blend out really well. Awkward. And then I'm using some Stroke of Light Bare Minerals in Luminous 2 on my cheekbones and on my forehead, down my nose and everything. And then I'm just kind of blending all of that in together. And it's just a really nice brightening product without being shimmery or too intense. I really like it. And I'm just using my foundation brush to blend it out, which wasn't exactly the most precise way to blend it out so I had to go in with my little concealer brush afterwards. And of course we want to set down that base and make it look flawless all day long so I'm using a pressed powder to do that and a nice big powder brush by Exo Beauty and yeah I don't really know what else to say about this step you know how it goes next up though I'm going to use the AC on tour palette by Stralis the little yellow powder under my eyes and on my eyelids just to set the concealer and neutralize my redness on my eyelids And then I'm taking my beloved Tarte palette, which I've talked about a bunch, the Showstopper palette. And I'm going to use the bronzer first with this Real Techniques. I think it's called the blush brush. I can't really remember. I've decided I don't really like this for bronzer. It made it look a little bit patchy, but I fixed that soon. So I'm using that for bronzer around my face. And then to blend all the products back out a little bit more because they were looking a little bit patchy-ish, I'm just using my powder brush again um, and buffing it out. Yeah, anyway. And then I'm using the contour shade from the Charlotte Tilbury Duo and a round top face brush by Exo Beauty and just contouring a little bit. Sorry, I am so bad at voiceovers right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. I cannot think. I always get really scatterbrained when I film this. Anyway, enjoy the music while I do this. Next up, you want to use a highlight powder, and I'm using the bronzer brush bag so beauty to apply this to my cheekbones and brow bones and the tip of my nose. I feel like my voiceovers are cutting off all the best parts of the song. I'll link the song down below anyway if you want to listen to it. Let them know I sent you. I love that song. Anyways, on to the video. On my lips, I'm using Berlin, I think it's called, by Kat Von D. I swatched it in a lip swatch video, which I'll link down below. And I was just like, oh my god, this color is amazing. So I really wanted to use it today. I'm lining my lips first, just so the application goes on nice and smooth and crisp. So this lip liner is by MAC. I'll leave a list of all the products I use in this video down below for you, so it's easy for you to find each product um, and then of course I'm just going to apply the liquid lipstick onto my lips in between the lines it's just like a coloring in book just coloring in my face and I don't know why I was doing my lip color first I think I just wanted to kind of match my eye makeup to my lip color because I knew exactly what lip color I wanted this day so yeah I'll move on to my eyes next So for my eyes, I am going back in with that Showstopper palette and a eyeshadow blender brush by Exo Beauty. I'm taking this really light brown first into the crease and just blending that out really, really well and building it up a little bit until it looks as intense as I would like it to. And then I'm taking this shimmery bronze kind of color and putting that on the outer V area of my eyelid with that same brush. In the mud, the 
and then with whatever is left on that brush I'm just buffing that through the crease as well and then I'm taking this light kind of gold color on my finger and just dusting that right across the lid just to softly define my brows I'm using some brow plumper by L'Oreal my eyebrows were still in hard art healing mode when I filmed this video so that's why they look a little bit gray and weird it's because they were scabbing up lovely right and then today I'm just going for a really bold lash look but I didn't want to use falsies so I'm just going to build up two different mascaras and keep building up my lashes until they look nice and long and dramatic I also decided to take the bronzer on my little eyeshadow blender brush and just buff that into the crease a little bit too just to darken it up a little tiny bit just because I wanted it to look a little bit more bold and then I'm going to take a really small amount of this product on my inner corner like the tiniest amount so it's nice and subtle but still quite bright. And that is the makeup look done but since it was so simple I thought I'd show you what I was doing with my hair as well I didn't actually end up wearing this all day long because I just decided not to I don't even remember why but because I filmed it I thought I'd insert it into this video anyway so I just did a really high pony and then I was trying out my Zala ponytail for the first time it's really long and looks so good once it's on it was a little bit of a mesh to attach for the first time because I wasn't used to it so it took me like three goes but I got there in the end and that is the completed look I was getting so many requests from you guys on my social media media to do like a really easy natural but not natural kind of makeup look so that's why I thought I'd film my makeup today just because it's super effortless and easy but still something nice for every day if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon bye if you want to watch some more of my videos here are two linked on the screen or if you are on mobile I'll put the links down below in the down bar the one on the left is an announcement of my brand new makeup palette and the other one is my February 2016 makeup favorite so I hope you guys like them